Welcome to Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew preview you pillaging bastards. Key was provided by the publisher. Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew is Commando's style stealth strategy game set in a pirate world. We are controlling the cursed pirate crew compiled of interesting characters that cannot die, hence cursed. Got the key for preview build as the game is releasing on August 17th, so most of the game was locked. Art style is beautiful, really digging the vibrant colors and character design. Usually I am more for realistic graphics when it comes to colors, but in this game all fits nicely. The voiceover is great as well as each character feels rather unique, personality and voice wise. Overall presentation is very nice, easy and pleasant to look at and listen to. It ensures I'm only found by interesting people. Now, what can I do for you, Signora Manicato? They say you can arrange things. There's a certain ghost ship I'd like to catch up with. Ah, the Red Marley, yes. I know all about your history with that ship. Then you also know... Gameplay is all about precision, very hands-on but also forgivable due to replay mechanic that works like quick save, quick load. It is more immersive version of it due to how story presented the mechanic. Ship Red Marley offers that special feature because ship is an entity in itself. Story revolves around the ship and its former captain Mordecai and his treasure hunt that other crew is now trying to profit off of. Inquisition that killed Mordecai is the opposition you're gonna face constantly, at least in the demo. Prominent Inquisitors are gonna be Hunter and the Hunted. More interesting than story are the crewmates. They are all quite unique with colorful personalities and distinctive playstyles. Some of them got killed during Inquisition capture of Red Marley and couple got captured, so your goal is to revive and rescue them to be used on missions. However, to revive you need special items that can be obtained by completing missions. So, you chose to bless this charred body with another black pearl. I suppose I should thank you. Teresa Lasiega. You know I grew up on stories about you and your escapades. A reputation hard earned. One does not desert the Inquisition lightly. And who are you? Huh? I do Max crew size in this demo preview is 3, but there might be bigger missions with larger crew. Don't know how many characters there are in the game, but the demo offered 5. Thankfully well done tutorial helps in getting acquainted quickly with new abilities. Missions vary in size and difficulty. Last mission I did was very challenging and required high precision in order to kill three enemies at once while avoiding being seen. Due to each character having their own playstyle, there are many possible tactical solutions for every tough encounter. I really like unique abilities and how they affect the gameplay. Afia can paralyze enemies for a few seconds, Kato can change locations quickly, Teresa can shorten view cone. Quite few mechanics in the game. Ship besides capturing memory can also pause time in order to prepare actions. Details like these are nice to see because usually games just say press space and time stops. In Shadow Gambit mechanics come with a bit of background story. Many other small general mechanics exist. Crouching enables going into view cone to a degree. Bodies can be hidden and thrown overboard. Additional light source makes you visible in bushes. Couple different enemy types that react different. For example, normal enemy is going to move to check Kato's whistle while experienced Commissarius will look at it from afar without changing position. I like this type of tactical gameplay as it is dynamic and exciting. Even with replay option it can be challenging to make everything work perfectly, but it does help a lot. Maybe restricting replay a bit could be a good idea. Gameplay seems very polished as I haven't encountered any bugs or glitches. Smooth as well as it isn't problematic to control the team. Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew looks to me after spending some time with it a very promising title that is fun to play and could have good staying power. Depends how intricate the rest of the content is and how many unique challenges can the game create. Anyway, thanks for watching and check out link in the description to Shadow Gambit's team page if you're interested.
A soulless it's body. It's done. There you are. I thought I am an arbiter of the fate.